This is Twit. Apple plans laptop upgrades to take on Microsoft. That's kind of an interesting thing to say. I doubt that it's really to take on Microsoft, but... No, it's to finally show... I mean, uh, do not, do people do were really upset that they didn't have KB Lake processors in the MacBook Pro when it launched, but the KB Lake processors, the quad cores, and the one with the Iris Pro graphics just weren't available. They weren't yeah. ready yet, so Apple yeah. shipped those. So now they're ready, and Apple's shipping those computers, and there was a hope that they'd be able to get them out by March, sort of-ish, but that didn't work out, so now June is when all those MacBooks... Three new laptops, there. according to people familiar with the matter... The MacBook Pro will get a faster KB Lake from uh, Intel, said the people who requested anonymity to discuss internal planning. Apple's also working on a new version. I'm pleased to see this of the 12-inch MacBook with a faster chip. Still M, though. It's KB Lake M. Yeah, right. So it won't be really that big. And it's sort of interesting because KB Lake, I mean, there's it's going to be a small increase in performance, but we really don't know what the graphics was. Some of the graphics solutions they had for KB Lake were actually, it looked slower than the solutions they had for Skylake. So it'll be really... Interesting to see what Apple and Intel managed to work out. The company, according to German, has also considered updating the aging 13-inch MacBook Air with a new, which is surprising to me, with a new processor. That might be the Microsoft part. Yeah, because the Air, I thought, was going to be the next thing to go, frankly. If the MacBook price could drop low enough, it looks like it still I, hasn't. Yeah, I would, you know what I think is missing from this, for those of us who don't really want a touch bar, is a nice upgraded non-touch bar macbook pro i bought the 13 inch non-touch bar and i love it it's like a classic macbook but just could you give us a little you know maybe four thunderbolt ports instead of just two or you know make that but do you think that's that's not going to happen because it confuses the i'd line, love a, right? a higher end one too like i mean there, there there is like if you can make a concession to people on the low end who want maximum portability or want want that retina air that's fine but make a concession on the high end too for people who are willing to pay uh, the battery life premium for having a more powerful processor better graphics options and sort of like that workstation quality laptop they've been aching for don't look for new designs okay. this is basically the typical slipstream upgrade where you take the existing design you put a faster chip in it right yeah it's they they, they have a they have a problem with ultra portables right now uh it's it's getting harder and harder for them to explain why the macbook air has the screen it has for instance when Every and that's that's just that's table stakes uh, in the Windows world. That's table stakes in the uh, in, well, not in the Chromebook world, but almost in the Chromebook world. Uh, you have to get a super super cheap screen to get uh, the screen that's the quality of the MacBook Airs. Uh, and also the Ma the MacBook Nothing. It's a great. I I, I think it's uh, one of the best machines that they've made because it is really ideally suited for its intended purpose. But it really is not going to be a, a, a computer for the people. So they they have a problem with the MacBook Air and they need to address it really really soon. I think it's it's got to be supremely disappointed to buy a MacBook Air and be seated in the in the coffee shop or in his classroom or in a conference room next to anybody who has spent half as much money on the machine that they got that runs Windows. It hasn't had a speed boost since 2015 but frankly it was as, think it was supposed, it, supposed to be end of life it yeah it needs a retina display do you think they'll do that they, they originally I, I didn't do it because it wasn't architected for it oh yeah but they but they uh, they mean they need to have a, an inexpensive relatively inexpensive <laughs> machine that has a retina display that is more practical and functional for most people again the i'm walking into the store with money in hand because i need to walk out with a laptop default user sort of person and right now i don't think they have it and that basically and i would i would uh, only expand that to say that you need to have at least one standard usb port the port that is non-negotiable for again a volks computer a sort of i'm walking in i like apple i'm not i have not been dreaming of this day since i was a little boy or a little girl that i would become of age and could walk into an apple store and buy my own macbook i'm saying that i need a laptop i want it to be an apple uh, but I'm not willing to be talked into. <laughs> I'm not willing to be to have it explained why I'm stupid for wanting to have USB ports. I'm not going to be talked into why I'm stupid. Why I'm stupid for wanting to have a more conventional keyboard. And I don't want to be here about how I'm stupid for uh, wanting a really good battery life. I want a machine that is uh, that covers most of what 80 to 90 percent of people who buy laptops want. They don't have it.